YouTube comments. We've all seen them, we all despise them, and now I get to talk about some of them. Hello everyone, it me. Australia. You may notice the lack of a green screen behind me, and that's because of several different factors. Number one, it is unnecessary. Number two, I don't want to be a Nicky Jakey copy, man. I, I don't want that to be my legacy. And number three, do you guys know how hard it is to edit 60 FPS videos with the green screen on a computer that has eight gigabytes of RAM? YouTube comments have been around since YouTube was around, you yeah, idiot. Yeah. And they used to be Okay. okay, but now they're just complete cancer. <laughs> just go to any video on your main page or the trending page and you'll see nothing but complete garbage in the comment section. I hate it. I want, I just want to get shot. But then again, YouTube comments aren't always terrible. They're sometimes used actually really well with smaller YouTubers and can provide legitimate feedback and also provide a lot of great friendly interactions between the creator and the and the viewer. I mean, even bigger YouTubers, you know, thousands, maybe 100,000 or so subs, will check the comments and actually like interact with their viewers and that's really cool. But you know I don't just criticize nothing on this channel, so we're gonna criticize it right now. That was not a good idea. <laughs> This is glass. First, I want to talk about Bob. I cannot be the only person to remember Bob. This little guy, hopefully that appears. I don't know if I can get the uh, the text on there. I did a little bit of research. I know, I don't do that much research, but in 2013, when the whole Google Plus and comments, but you know what you guys remember when Google Plus was complete Stinky. garbage? Well, this was a trend that appeared everywhere on YouTube comments, and it was against Google Plus. It was literally saying, I'm going to spam this. Everyone on YouTube's going to spam this in the comments. It has nothing to do with the videos. It ruins the comment section. Maybe Google will notice. And it kind of did. <laughs> I just realized we had it so easy back then. All we had to worry about was Google Plus. <laughs> so a while ago, way, way, way back in the day, I, I barely remember this because I was a young little baby, YouTube comments were just full of children or just really, really illiterate people. And it was, it was, it was a shit show. But no, children primarily make up YouTube comments the same way very entitled people make up Twitter replies and very intellectual people make up Reddit comments. It's, it's a complete garbage section of text and no one likes it. But recently, comments have had like a, a, a complete 180 and now they're just so obnoxious and stupid. I, I prefer if we had stupid young kids commenting again because that was actually funny. First off, you have the music videos. Why? Why do people have to comment saying, oh, I want who's watching in a certain date? It's... I sincerely lose hope every single time I see one of these comments saying anyone watching in 2020, 2019, 2018 get thousands and thousands of likes. And that brings me to my next topic. Since when did comments have this many likes? Maybe it's just me, maybe YouTube's just been growing too fast for me to realize. I still remember 10 million subscribers being absolutely insane and now it's so many people have it, it's ridiculous. But my most liked comment is like 3,000 likes. Okay, I made it in like 2015. And at that time, 3,000 was a lot, man. 10,000 was like complete peak. And I think like the, the highest comment was like 100 something thousand. And then the bald man uh, decided to ruin that for everyone. We don't like you, bald man. Go away, bald man. <laughs> But apart from the completely terrible music videos, comments saying, oh, who's watching in this part because that's how time works. The thing is, it's like, why do people have to quote the video and put it in the comment section? Oh! These are the most prevalent comment. Like you will not find anything other than this in 90% of YouTube videos, not music videos. It is complete insanity. It's like, I'm losing my mind. It's like I go through a video, I watch it. I'm like, oh, this is kind of funny. And then the comments are all just quotes from the video I just watched. We get it. You watch the video. You don't have to tell us again. There's also that time when PewDiePie, yes, PewDiePie. Here, one sec, let me just play some PUBG. Flat out disable all the comments. I, I didn't know how to think about this at the time because he was only allowing certain comments that were actually like productive comments. And then everyone was just like, what if everyone else does this? This could be big. And then he dropped it like a year later. <laughs> now I know that I really dogged on a lot of the comments because a lot of them are just time travelers saying who was watching this at this point in time and then there's a lot of people who are just quoting the video because i guess everyone has a low attention span or something but particularly in smaller youtubers you can find some really nice comments and really constructive criticism in the comments and that's such a cool thing for example my own beautiful comment section now here's the thing i only allow extremely hot and sexy people to comment so that's why you see you know all my subscribers commenting i mean <laughs> 
and the heart feature where you can literally give hearts to people who comment on your video to show that, yeah, you acknowledge the comment, it's not just a simple like. That's such a cool feature, and I'm really glad that YouTube actually added that. And there's YouTubers who actually have like more than a million subscribers that go through their comment section and give hearts to some comments, and, and you know, on every single video. I don't know about you guys, but when a YouTuber does that, I have a lot more respect for them. <sighs> Anyways, I think this is recording in mono. I don't know if that's the, the usual thing I recorded, but we're gonna find out. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about YouTube comments. I don't think I've seen anyone talk about them. Like, really? You know, you have Pinely, you have Nerd City. Have any of them talked about this? I don't think so. But thank you for the support, you gamer girls. I love you all. I'm trying to switch to my own style, and definitely, if you guys can tell, I'm definitely not gonna try to be a naked Jakey copy anymore. I, I don't really do outros, so I don't really know what to say here. Bye! <laughs>